Hi guys, we're back here at the PA Ren Fair. Hi, I'm Haley. And I'm Nathan. We're here for two reasons and two reasons only today. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to do other stuff, but we're here to see the kings and queens ride in on their horses yes. in the morning. Uh, and also we're here to, uh, what's the word? Do the archery competition. I'm, I'll probably stay out of it, um, but he really wants to do it, so I'll cheer him on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they have a patron archery competition, which is really cool. You can see how good you are with a bow and arrow, mm -hmm. which it's been a while since I've done that. So we'll see how good I am. Yeah, it should be fun. I'm yep. hoping. <laughs> so, enjoy. Okay, we're here for the archery competition. I'm gonna enter and see how I do. So cheer me on. Rule one, do not harass anyone in this tournament. There is no help in tournament. We will only stop you in the event of safety. Why don't you sign up? You put a glove in the hand that holds the bow, you walk up to there, there's a rope on the ground. You put your foot on the rope and stop. When everyone is in a line and we make sure everyone's safe, we will then tell you to pick up the bows. Once we make sure everybody is safe, we'll tell you when to shoot. Now the first prize today, for the person who gets the first perfect score of the day, they will get a token to come up and get five free arrows with an instructor. Now the next prize is a nice little bullet knife. Now this is for the person who sends an arrow or does not send an arrow in the most creative way down this range. We call this the YBA Award. The You Blew It Award. <laughs> All of our prizes are courtesy of our Shire's Pirates! Yeah! Now the Pirates in this Shire are pretty dumb. Oh. Right, look where they parked the ship. They had to turn it into a restaurant. Now, let's see here, chest of prize time. Our fourth place prize today. Yeah! Yeah! Our third place prize today will be the Jane Elvin Hunter. Yeah! Yeah! Yes, this is a red fair, you know, you've heard the hymn of Grazing Mace. A grazing mace, how sweet the sound that fills a night like me. Our second place, the group rate. Yeah! Okay, our first place prize today. We are joking when we say sharp and pointy. We say they're sharp. We're not kidding. The person who wins first place today gets a ticket to come back on the last day of Ren Fair. Now the last day of Ren Fair, everyone who's won first place comes back and shoots against each other for a hand-made longbow. Three shots when you are ready. This is really nice lighting. <laughs> it is really nice lighting. You look gorgeous, babe. <laughs> I entered the archery competition and I did really well for myself, but I flubbed up on my second shot and the arrow bounced off the string and they counted that as a shot, which stinks for me, but they would need to make everything fair for everyone else. Yeah, sadly, because he did get seven points on one shot and six on another, so he was doing really well. Um, but you know, sometimes things like that happen. Yeah, so for an amateur who hasn't shot in like five years, I yeah. was really happy with how I was doing. I wish I could have actually got that second arrow on the target, but oh well, 
Next time. Yeah, next time, because I definitely want to do it again. And yeah, maybe I'll actually do it this time too. Yeah. Uh, but if you've ever shot in a Renaissance archery competition, leave a comment below. Let us know how you did. Tell and us some tips and tricks, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help us become not so amateur. Yeah. That was that, and we'll see what else we get into today. Yeah. So they had these special frapples and we were thinking that it was going to be possibly like a mini pie, but instead it was like these mini little apple wedges that were deep fried. So these look delicious and we're gonna give them a try and let you know if, how delicious they know how delicious they actually are. So they're filled with little apple wedges and like a, a glaze or something. I don't know what you call that, but it's really good. Get a lot for five dollars. I'd recommend giving it a try while you're here. All right, so that was another day here at the PA Ren Fair. So the frapples, they're more like apple fritters. I think that would be a good way to describe them. They were a lot. We're taking a bunch home. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and until next time. So long. Farewell. Namari. No When we were at Walt Disney World, there were turkey leg shirts and turkey legs everywhere, and everybody thinks that turkey legs belong at Walt Disney World, but I say they belong at the Renaissance Fair. <laughs>